Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. Today, got a little bit of background noise. I'm in the hood and it is running. I wanted to share some results with you and talk a little bit about my philosophy for flasking of orchids. Um, these, are, these are a couple of the flasks that I have and I wanna, I wanna show these to you and talk a little bit about my approach. And I've shared with this with you uh, in a video previously, but I wanna go over it again and emphasize this because uh, I think my approach for um, growing these flasks is, is working, and I think there's gonna be a good payout uh, as a result of this. So um, my background is in the area of uh, plant tissue culture. So I worked in a university laboratory for 35 years. I worked mostly on soybeans, uh, but I worked on a variety of different plants in order to optimize uh, tissue growth in culture. And what I've tried to do since retiring from my university position has been to kind of bring that approach into flasking and in, in, into orchids. So. Um, what I presented previously was a video on Bigger, Better, Stronger, Faster, where I would, was explaining to you how I was trying to optimize the medium components in order to get the orchids growing much more rapidly in order to get them bigger in culture. Um, as far as growing orchids as plants in your collection, uh, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> that's a slow process. It really takes a long time to get a seedling to flower and then my approach then is to get bigger seedlings and flasks so you take them out and you gotta you gotta kind of a head start on things so this is a flask of encyclia tampensis and as you can see this is uh, this is pretty much loaded and the roots are growing well the plants are up to the top and then hitting the top of the container and these are these are huge plants. There are, um, you know, the, the base of the, uh, the leaves, they're swelling, the, they're starting to form, the, they're bulbs that encyclias tend to do. And these things are growing pretty quickly. When these are deflasked, they also take off. They grow really, really fast. The challenge when these are deflasked is to try to figure out how to minimally damage the roots. You're gonna have to damage the roots on these things, I mean, look at this. In order to get them apart, you have, they're, they're so tangled, you have to kind of tear them apart a little bit. But what happens is you get a surge of growth. Um, these plants are really big and they're very healthy and they're, they're doing quite well. So my approach on this is to try to get big plants growing in these larger flasks and then that'll give them a jump on, on life in general and it'll give them a boost to flowering. I mean, you know, plants, orchids have to reach a certain size in order to flower. And this, if you get them big here, I think it gives them a, a kind of a jump on things. This is one of my other um, cat layers that I have. And if you, if you can't tell, these are also, these are also pretty big. Uh, and this is a, just a shelf, self of uh, Machima Victory, which is one of my favorites, and it's a fairly large orchid. But these are growing so quickly here. They're not hitting the top of the containers, but it was, it was only placed in here about, um, it was transferred in here maybe you know, a little over two months ago. So there's still a little bit of time before they'll hit. They were big when they got put in here, but it's still, They'll, they'll hit the top of the containers pretty soon. And again, the idea behind this is you get bigger plants in culture and in, in flasks in vitro, and um, you, they get a jump on their life. All right, so that's always been my approach on things. And as an indicator of the success that I've had with that, I had my, my first Cattleya uh, flowered within three years of seed sowing. And it was a small Cattleya, but still it flowered that quickly. I had another Cattleya from that same, um, same cross that was, uh, it was about to flower, but Hurricane Ian hit and I could fe feel the sheath and I, could, I was excited because there, it was gonna flower. 
But then I felt after Ian came through, a couple weeks after Ian came through, I felt the sheath and it was soft. So those flowers that were forming rotted and that I, was, I was just really disappointed in that. But um, they still, they were gonna flower. The plants are getting big and um, quickly and it's a, it's a jump. It just takes so long typically for orchids to flower. I, I wanna use what I know and that is how to grow plants in flasks, I want to take what I know about growing plants in flasks quickly and apply that to um, getting them to flower quickly. It's not just growing them at the seedling stage here, but it's also getting them to germinate and swell up. So what I have um, earlier today, I went into the laboratory and I'm comparing uh, a medium called P723, which is a standard seed germination medium and then I'm comparing that to a version that I've generated and grown in my laboratory. And it's actually a little bit of a variation on a soybean medium that I developed many, many years ago. Um, but there's some other things that I did to it and there's some other changes that I did to it. So what I had, and I took, I went and I got the seedling plates and I put them under this microscope that lets me take pictures. That's, this is a camera right here. So I took pictures of this, and the first one that I'd like to show you is a, um, what do I want to show you first? This is a Cattleya cross. Uh, and so there's a Cattleya cross on, on 723, and then on my medium, which is, uh, oh, I call OSD, which is the, my, my version of orchid seed germination medium. And the, um, the seedlings, the small seedlings on 723, are growing nicely and, and they're there and I'll have, I'll put this uh, image up and I'll have it labeled. Uh, but then when you take a look at the same seeds that were planted on my orchid seed germination medium, you can see that there's much more leaf growth. So this was done, this is, this is within, um, this is about two and a half months of seed plating and usually after three to four months, what I do is I transfer those seeds to a um, replate medium in order to get good growth. But what you can see even at the seedling stage with the medium that I developed is you get very rapid seed um, germination and protocol formation and leaf formation. So that was that first series of images, two images that I showed you. Uh, the next one is a um, it, it's another Cattleya cross, and this is a cross with, with one of my plants that is incredibly vigorous. Uh, this is Momolani Rainbow, and these seeds were plated about two months ago, all right? So it was, it was not that long ago. So the first image that I'm showing you is the, uh, the P723 medium, the standard medium that most people use in the laboratory. And there's good, you know, there's decent protocol information, different, you know, you're starting to see some leaf formation. But then I'm gonna shift now to the, my orchid seed germination medium. Again, the seeds from the same cross, the same capsule on my orchid seed germination. And you can see how much the protocol formation is much larger. The leaf development is much farther along. And this is kind of what I'm, this is what I'm going for. And this is what I like to see. So the seedlings that are plating on my orchid seed germination medium, they're going to get a little bit of a boost before I even transfer them to my replate medium, which where they'll also get a boost. So again, a little bit of a different medium formulation, um, and I want to give them a boost. I want to get them bigger, faster, uh, to accelerate them through the process so that eventually when you deflask them, you'll get a lot faster flowering bigger plants and faster flowering of these plants. I mean, the other media work fine. People have been using it for years and it works fine, but it's just in my hands, under my conditions, you'll get a little bit slower growth and it takes a lot longer to get plants that are ready for deflasking. So the, the next one that I have and the last one that I have um, is a where I compare the P723 medium compared to the orchid seed germination medium is an encyclia, um, it's an encyclia species. Um, and what I have, it again, it's the same type of thing. These are, these were done, plated on the seed germination, on the two different seed germination medium 
close to three months ago, like, like almost three months ago. And what you can see on the, um, the standard P723 medium is that you get, you know, again, you get good, uh, decent protocol information, decent leaf formation, but when you take a look at the, uh, those same, the seeds from that same batch that was then planted on my orchid seed germination medium, you can see that there's much better, much bigger protocol formation and also much more uh, leaf development. And you, on some of these embryos, you can even see two leaves where in the previous one, you only see one leaf. So it's really advancing quickly on the, um, on much more quickly on my uh, seed germination medium. I've had some people ask me, okay, what am I doing that I can, uh, <laughs> that the, that the, but what have I added? And, and sometimes it's not a question of what you add, but more the general composition of the medium or, or there's some components in there that I've replaced and changed up a little bit. Um, I don't want to give quite the complete formulation because right now it's, it's kind of an advantage that I have that lets me germinate these seeds uh, much more quickly and also get these plants to grow a little faster. If you, if you know what you're doing, and you can, you can kind of figure out some of the things that, that I'm doing. My conditions here are pretty good, but they're not great. Um, but these things are just growing uh, quite well. And it's, and it's, again, what these changes that I made are based on my experience uh, for the past 35 years growing plants in flasks uh, in my laboratory based on, you know, soybean, sunflower, corn, wheat. Uh, rice, all the plants that I worked with over my career, there are certain things, there's certain similarities and certain things that I do where I can get them to grow uh, faster and I, and I know how to do that. Again, the standard media formulations will work fine, it just takes a little bit longer to get the same response than, than what I'm getting in, in my media. So, um, so what I do whenever I, um, you know, whenever I do um, seed plating, I always compare the, the 723 compared to my orchid seed germination medium. Same size plates, same, you know, same everything, same seeds that go in there. And again, because I was, because of my career as a, uh, as a scientist and a plant scientist, I, I like to do these comparisons and I like to do side by side things and see how things grow. I, I've done things where, you, where I've done a number of different medium components. I'm still trying to figure out what's in the banana baby food that's in uh, this formula. And I know it's bananas and the bananas that are in the baby food. And I'm trying to dissect out what that is. So I'm trying to figure out what are the components, uh, again, for the replate medium that makes these orchids grow so nicely. Okay, so that's all I have for today. I just wanted to give you a, uh, just a quick follow-up on how I'm observing some of my responses, both seed germination and subsequent plating uh, or replating of these uh, orchid seedlings. Um, that's all I have for today. If, uh, if you like what you see and you're interested in seeing more, it would help me out if you could click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Okay, so that's it. Happy propagating.